Yo, what's up guys, Wicked Android HD here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to flash latest resurrection update 5.4.0 based on Android Pay Attention 5.1, so it's the latest update for Lollipop. So, first of all, I've made a, a complete wipe, actually, clean to install it from, from here, directly from here. So, of course, I uh, always do recommend making an Android backup before proceeding to flashing new ROM. So, in case if something goes wrong, you'll be able to return to your current configuration. So, you won't uh, have any problems with it. So, afterwards, we're going to be flashing uh, Resurrection Remix version 5.4.0. It's going to be showing you right now. So, right now it's flashing. It's going to take a while. Um, of course, the first booting process will take up to 5 to 10 minutes because it's converting cache from Dalvik to Art so you, you just have to have a cup of tea and you'll be fine live, let's hope so and after we're gonna be flashing this we're gonna flash uh, so right now it's flashed we're gonna be flashing uh, gaps so gaps I have the minimal edition because I like it to be more more minimalistic gaps release date 4th of April okay and then I'm gonna be flashing KT kernel recently released for Lollipop 5.1 I'm gonna be showing you that we have some problems with this with this kernel at the first booting process and that's because of the green tinted screen but we're gonna be fixing that without any problem and um, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it. KT kernel is the best kernel in my opinion for Galaxy S4 and uh, at this moment uh, for a long time ago and uh, I'm gonna be showing you that in the next few minutes. Um, it is blazing fast along with this ROM it is actually really... So Resurrection Remix Boot Animation I'm gonna get back to you guys after I set up my device and uh, boot up stay tuned okay guys I'm back and as you may see I'm gonna be pumping the brightness a little bit up just to make sure you see uh, the screen is a little bit washed out um, I don't know if you can see from the camera but with my eyes I can see that it is a kind of green tinted but how do you fix that you just go sorry you just go into into settings then you scroll down until you see display then you go into um, live display, then color calibration, and then you set up set these to 50% each. So each it's 50%, 46, 51, 50, 49, geez, 50, and 50, 50, okay. Then you click OK, get back, and then reboot your device. And this time I'm going to be showing you how fast it boots up with this kernel so this is KT kernel my prefer kernel for all of Samsung ROMs except uh, Google edition ROMs because it doesn't really work on it has some serious bugs Jesus so right now it's booting up and then you will be surprised how fast this ROM moves let me show you that one thing is again keeping me for updating to Android Lollipop AOSP to this beautiful ROM um, I have a lot of data stocked on my Omega version 40 I guess 4.4.2 uh, KitKat touch with base ROM a lot of as you may see right now everything is uh, sorry everything is back in business all cars are running smooth as you may see beautiful beautiful screen um, so let's disable these uh, um, buttons right here so we can benefit of a full experience so we have here K-Tweaker with my profiles 
so I'm gonna be loading up BHP Ballast. You can see the super user icon flashing right there. And now let's see how fast this smooth is because you can't uh, really tell until you see. Um, so, first of all, we're gonna get uh, through, we're gonna be disabling mobile data. First of all, we're gonna get into this notification area. Right now, if you press on on the Wi-Fi name, you'll get all the Wi-Fi networks available here. Very, very catchy. Bluetooth the same, so it turns off your Bluetooth and uh, networking the same. Airplane mode auto rotation with a new effect. Flashlight, sorry, so it's working properly. And location. You can customize these toggles by going into settings and then configurations and then I guess notification drawer you can show weather but first of all we're gonna be configuring the uh, oh sorry so you know for example let's uh, let's add more thugles LT, a lot of tools to be added. NFC, screen off. Yeah. Right now, if you slide down, you'll get a bunch of uh, <laughs> of tools. Useless most of the time if you those enabled. So, for example, Compass. It's a very useful app. No oh, tools, sorry. But uh, yeah, you can customize it without any problems. Um, miscellaneous. Here we can customize the toast animation, uh, list view animation. I'm gonna be selecting scale to show you. As you may see, beautiful animations. System animations. You can customize them. A lock screen. You can set up your shortcuts if you want to. Calculator. Let's set these shortcuts and let's let me show you. So you have here calculator shortcut. So I, I think you have to long press it too. What? What's this? No way. No way. No way. This is awesome guys. We had you have head heads up applications. No way. This is only this or HUD HUD So let's see calculate. No it's not. So how do we activate that? Hmm Quick shortcuts. No this shortcuts. I think there 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 has to be an option to not this one. Battery, let's choose battery. There has to be some option with the so interface. Um the navigation rings. There are the navigation rings, I don't think so. No, they are not. But this is a very interesting feature. I don't know how to activate it or how to deactivate it, but mm, yeah, shame on me. It has to be somewhere here. You can check it out. I don't have really the proper time to to do it, but uh, it's really nice to know it has it because it's a really nice feature. Who needs Google Note 4? No, Galaxy Note 4 features when you have this. So as you may see, phone is behaving really, really fast. Um, along with all the apps, you can get into K Tweaker without any problem. No lag at all. Let me check the phone lag 
phone application lag because I had some problems with it. Well, let's see. Right now it's barely smooth. Yeah, Google has fixed it. Call ended. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, really smooth. Really smooth. No problem at all. Camera. Let's the camera. Let's browse through all these apps. Bam. So I've. Sh I showed you the calculator, the clock, let's see the clock. Smooth. Contacts. Really nice. Documents, email, file manager, stock from CM. No lag at all. Messaging application. Let me send myself a message and... Um... Hello. Sending. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, so we have a LED working right there. Beautiful, beautiful pop up here. The fading out. Yeah, really nice, really nice. As you may see, shiny. I think it's about to show you to show twice but yeah only twice and you can of course reply read or call myself if I want so I'm not gonna be doing this RAM is running beautifully no lag at all I think it's the first RAM that I have ever flashed without having any kind of lag or whatsoever no lag no lag at all no problems and smooth and stable as you may see a lot of tools right here kind of exaggerated with them but uh, yeah so that was it for incredibly fast unlocking let's see let, let me show you how fast I press it bam bam just amazing how fast it turns on the screen back so just to show you guys I'm pressing right now no sorry right now close on beautiful beautifully and fast fast run my do recommend it, it's way better than Google Edition RAM and I hope it's more stable it was stable enough let me check the volume these new features right now, the volume um, heads up notification right now and yeah, that was it for today guys, I hope you like it if you did, again, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right down below I'll put a link in the description with all the files you need in order to flash this RAM and as always with Tandroid Thanks you for watching. Bye bye guys. Stay tuned.